Good morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Today is Wednesday, is it the 8th of January? Yeah, I think it's the 8th of bloody January already. And uh, I think this is only the second or third vlog that I've done for this year so far, because as you know, I've been a busy boy. And yesterday and later on today, we've been interviewing for a chef. Yeah, for the brew shed. It was really exciting. I think we've got a candidate. We've offered one chap the job. We're interviewing today for like uh, the second cook. We've got a head chef, a second cook coming on, possibly. And uh, the chap who's coming to work for us, hopefully, uh, has worked in an American style diner. So, really exciting stuff. He knows what he's doing. More than I do, let's hope. Anyway, that's something that's taken up my time over the past couple of days. And of course, uh, we've had to prep for these interviews and what have you, which has meant that my mind has definitely not been on the vlog, but I'm here now. And today's job, because there are always jobs for us to do, today's job is to do a little bit of remedial work in the pub itself. So we have, for instance, a door that is sticking, so we're gonna address that. We're gonna take the door off, we're gonna plane the edge, repaint it and reinstall it. I think it's sticking because I've shaved it in the past and there's no paint on there. So of course, during the winter, the wood's swollen a little bit. And then there are gonna be some other remedial jobs that we need to do in there and they're gonna be kind of ad hoc. On the run up to today's interview schedule, which starts at two o'clock, so it may be a brief, vlog or it may last for ages if we film the whole shaving down the door business anyway let's get on with it and we'll see where the day takes us so the tools that I anticipate I'm gonna need for this job are of course a plane with a dust bag we'll catch most of the dust an extension lead so we can plug in the plane the cordless to take the screws out of the door. So we'll just zip that up now while we're here. And uh, well, we'll also need a chisel. That's right, a nice sharp carpenter's chisel and a hammer to readjust the depth of the mortise lock rebates and anything else that we happen to shave off with the plane and a couple of trestles to kind of hold the door on or lay the door on and also maybe a Stanley knife we'll take one of those with us just in case and not forgetting our trusty carpenter's pen pencil carpenter's pencil so let's uh, take all these tools up into the pub and get on with the job man Right, another light. We're being a bit backlit here by this window, but I'm sure you can see what I'm doing. This is the offending door, and this edge down here, you see how stuck it is, is the offending edge. So I'm gonna whip out the screws, sailor, and we'll get straight into it. So I think if we just take this off and that will probably be good enough for us come on lad there we go snapped my screwdriver a bit. I've already been in the workshop five bloody times. Looks like I'm going back again for a sixth and I'll get a, I forgot my Stanley knife and I'll get a little scraper 
because a lot of these screws have kind of got painted over so I need to scrape the paint out hopefully to uh, kind of get the screw out in the first place otherwise this is going to be quite a tricky job I think so after a couple of particularly stubborn screws that's the door off so I'm just going to pop it in this workmate Clamp it down, and that should kind of hold it steady for me while I do some work on it. Kind of. So let's just take a quick look at what it is exactly that we're going to be dealing with. So you can see along this edge where I've attacked the door in the past and we've had to shave off a bit of timber so it doesn't kind of rub up against this end down here which is all yeah you can see i've had to do the skirting the floor's expanding a little bit so all of this really is going to have to be sealed to prevent it getting any worse so the best way to approach it instead of taking any more off the door jam we'll take it off the door you can see it's swollen here as well We'll take this back a millimetre or two. We'll reset all the keeps and mortise locks in the same place. And then we'll pop another coat of primer and paint on top. Hopefully that'll solve the issue. But very old, very ropey door. Even the hinge side looks really quite dodgy in my opinion. But nothing that we can't fix. So we're repairing the mess that is the holes where all the keys are for the mortise locks and what's happened because we're playing this edge obviously I've had to rebate and refit these face plates which means that everything's moved that way a touch including of course the keyhole so if we want to put these back on these little fellas then we need to move them that way as well and that meant that that screw would have just been floating in mid-air flapping around in the breeze so we need to move but we need to fill the void where we've moved it across and I've done that with a bit of uh, two-part epoxy uh, two-part filler it's not epoxy similar though um, this is car body repair stuff, but it's exactly the same as the timber stuff that you get and it sets in about 10 minutes So we should be able to crack on with that anytime soon Right, I think I've timed it just about right. We've got the door on and I've managed to put everything else back together. It's all operating nicely and uh, just in time For the interview with Matt our possible second chef he will be on his way in at two o'clock so i'm gonna have to vamoose i have repaired this top uh key doodly do as well as we've got a little bit of filler that has gone into a section there that's where an old deadbolt was because i did actually flip this door around uh, when we moved in so just a lick of paint once that filler's gone off and then we'll be ready to put this job for now to bed. We do have to paint the rest of the windows though at some point. Well, there we go, interview complete. Actually, it went really well. So it looks like uh, we'll be having two kitchen staff on in the brew shed. Come around March, I think we'll be ready to open the kitchen. So yeah, very exciting. I still have a lot of maintenance jobs to do. Hell, I've even got tanks to clean that I've not started from before Christmas yet. So there's loads and loads of remedial work. So I'm sure you'll forgive me if I sign off on this pretty brief vlog as it's turned out to be. We'll pick up another day uh, because basically I want to go and get my teeth stuck into uh, having a walk round for one to address and identify all of these jobs and then we'll start to work on them over the coming days. 
Yeah, lots to do, lots to do. Definitely back from the Christmas break with a very, very busy schedule. And uh, hopefully, we'll still be able to find the time to make some fantastic content for YouTube during that period as well. Um, I know I'm getting behind on the videos, there's lots to do, but fear not, I've still got a Q&A to put up on the, on the internet at some point, I've got some beer reviews to do, all sorts, it's just finding the freaking time, I know. Anyway folks, I will see you on the next one, I'm going to get cracked on, cheers.